Hi, I am Matteo Fuzzi. I'm in charge of uh, Sensors Product Marketing at SD Microelectronics. And uh, today we are here at Sensor Expo and we are showing a full development environment uh, to develop with sensors, which is including an hardware development platform and a software development platform. For the hardware, you see that we have here our nuclear board. This is a modular approach. At the base, you have this whiteboard with an STM32 microcontroller, and on top of that, this blue board, which is featuring all of our latest sensors. Specifically here in this board at the top, you have an accelerometer, an IMU, Axel Plus gyroscope, a pressure sensor, temperature sensor, temperature and humidity, and a magnetometer. The board is connected through the USB to this laptop, which is running our development ecosystem tools. Let's take a closer look at the software. What we're showing here is the STM32 Cube ID, which is a full development environment and is including inside a code generator, the STM32 CubeMX, and on top of that you can download from our website also a sensor software that allows you to control our sensor and it's also including some examples to get you started pretty quickly and easily. The SCM32 Cuba ID is a development environment that you can download from our website. It's available for free. It works for all STM32 microcontrollers as the code generator which is natively integrated into the tool and it is featuring text editor, a compiler and a debugger. It's placed on GCC and Eclipse and everything is integrated into the tool. The STM32 Cube MX is a configuration and code generator tool. As you can see here, we are showing the microcontroller that we are using in this board. And you can just click on the different pinout and automatically enable the peripherals that you will need to use, so in a very graphical and easy way. This tool will automatically generate the code that you need to run with the microcontroller, and then it offers also portability through the different families of microcontrollers. So you can build on top of that your application code, and then eventually, in case you realize that you need to move to another microcontroller, you can use the STM32 Cube Max and easily move to another family without need to change the application code. The third element is the sensor software, which can be downloaded inside the STM32 Cube Max and Cube ID environment. And inside the XCube MEMS1 software, you find all the drivers for the sensors, you find the board support package firmware, so if you have a specific evaluation board, you will find the software that is supporting already that evaluation board. And you have a series of sample applications. What we're showing here is a sample application, which is pretty simple, and is included in the software package, and is streaming all the data coming from the sensor to a local terminal in uh, the laptop. So, in conclusion, here you have both the hardware and an entire software ecosystem that can facilitate your development with sensors. You can find everything integrated, the software is completely free, and if you need additional information, you can go on st.com, and this will allow you to get started with your project right away without the need to go and read all the details in the data sheet of both the microcontroller and the sensor. Since all the examples are already available, the drivers are already available, integrated, and part of the same ecosystem. Thank you.